thanks so much for being here again on my channel. I appreciate your presence. And uh, here at Michelle Huerta Art. By the way, also, um, my other brand name is Soul Pores. So if you look on social media, you can find me on Instagram at Soul Pores with Michelle or at um, Facebook is Soul Pores just as it is and TikTok is Michelle Huerta Art. So just letting you know. So I'm going to tell you a little bit about what's happening with this piece that I'm making. Um, do know that this is also another one where another video where I end up doing two pieces on this one. Um, and I'm going to talk you through the process of creating it. But I'm also on this video just going to be quiet and let you just enjoy the process without quite so much talky talky. I am layering the cup here. As you can see, I'm just going to give a little intro to the piece. I'm using a recycled, this is a 24 by 36 that I had gessoed over, making a little puddle for the pour to go in. I believe I used mix with my colors here and pouring it all out. Yeah, that was uh, actually, I think I had about 34 ounces of paint in there. Mix of, <laughs> I always like to try to capture what's going on in the cup as well as in the pour because they're just fun pieces of the art levels and stages of the art uh so yeah so this is you're going to just watch this piece um sounds a little bossy you're just going to watch this piece no <laughs> i guess if you're here you're here to watch it right ah look at me i'm just being goofy with myself so I'm doing a little play here with that white because it's a nice contrasting color. Um, I didn't get a close-up of this one, but um, you'll see definitely close-ups at the end of the second one that ends up on this piece. This one here, uh, it just wasn't quite working for me. Um, there was just something off about it. So pour, pour, pour again as it goes. So I'm putting the flow extender here. And you'll see the process that happens. I wanted to just share a funny little story um, because as I'm editing, doing this video for you guys on the channel, um, I <laughs> noticed, I was like, okay, well, I want to add some music, uh, which I will add at the end and you'll hear it when it plays. But it's really funny because the song is actually, it's from Epidemic Sound and it's called Closer Than Two of a Kind. And I just downloaded last, uh, downloaded it last night and the f it's really funny because the final piece of this ended up being called gemini love so you'll you'll see at the end okay so enjoy watching this flow i'll catch you at the end
<laughs> okay, here is this one. I'm going to make this quick because my battery is just about to die. And whoo, did that give me a run for my money. <laughs> oh my gosh. So the biggest challenge, as you probably heard me say in the voiceover, was I had changed my um, orientation of my pins, my feet. So I usually put them on the four corners. This time I put them in between each side. Uh, no, my muscle memory. <laughs> not only did my muscle memory not like that, but it just it felt really awkward. And it also made it, sorry, my low battery thing just came on. It also made it so that sometimes the canvas was rubbing onto the, the table. So, um, but you know, you try new things and you discover <laughs> that don't worky or woo, that worky well. So anyway, um, I'm really excited to see how this one dries. Uh, I messed with it to the point of trying to get the symmetry, the composition of it, um, in a good way so that that line from between the pores i love that line i mean there's just some really beautiful colors mixed in there um from the previous pour which you saw but i didn't want that to be center because that would make things just you know the brain then looks at that only <laughs> so um Anyway, I really would have also liked to have opened these fingerlings here a little bit more, but I did not want to lose composition-wise again. Oh, look at that. Look at that soft cloud against that uh, teal, metallic, turquoisey teal. But I didn't want to lose the composition between that yellowy green. Um, and if I had tilted this more, I would have lost that. And I feel like these two kind of blue centers with all of the interesting fingerlings and stuff around them um, makes for, in my opinion, I guess I would say, uh, I would say because I am saying it, makes for a more interesting piece. This side has got some truly gorgeous layers um, of cloud. Um, look at that orange that came through. That was kind of like a <laughs> random last little uh, like, hey, what the hell, let's throw this at it too. And I put in a uh, pre-poured orange, which look at that fun line that it caused. And also it's right there as well. So you never know until you go, right? <laughs> you never know till you try, as the saying goes. Anyway, so this piece, I will show it to you when it is dry. Um, I'm fascinated by this piece. It's a 36 by 24. It's, um, I f I'm fascinated just simply because I got to say the composition and um, it's kind of one of those pieces where it's like your eye can fall on so many different places and you don't know what to look at. But then it also has a kind of like mysterious symmetry to it. And also like, a, what is what is this thing I'm looking at? <laughs> Which is sometimes, in my opinion, the, you know, some of the best art. Not saying that this is an amazing piece. I'm not being braggadocious here. But I am saying that sometimes these pieces that really make us, you know, interpret more. As most art does. Just really lets you tap into your feelings, your subconscious, your meaning-making <laughs> systems within. And find meaning and... Uh, different things at different times. The color palette, I would say, is probably my favorite, um, not my favorite thing about this piece, but I'm really glad how previously, as you saw, I had pinks and purples, and I took them out not because I um, didn't want them in, but because I ran out of them. But you can still see there's a little bit of pink and purple that came into the mix anyway. But these colors are, I'm, I'm enjoying very much so. Okay, there it is, yet to be named. Uh, of course, if you feel like there's a great name for this, throw this in the comments. Maybe by the time I have this up, it will be, um, it will be named and I'm going to a new home. All right, thanks for watching. I'll show you the final piece when it dries. I had to show you Gemini Love as it has dried here. Sorry, a little shadow there. 
It's got some really lovely soft the greens and the yellow greens and the blues. And then this really, oh, hold on. Look at those fun fingerlings again. Hi, sorry, my shadow. <laughs> A fun little spot. And then with this deep line in between. Oops, can I back up all the way? Because it's a 36 by 24. Okay, there we go. Okay, so that is Gemini Love Dry. Okay, thanks for being here on my channel, checking out the videos. And so much love to you. Keep pouring yourself all out and all in. Okay, ciao.